everybody, welcome back again to another Toy Chick Thursday. Today's tutorial is going to be a hair tutorial on how to achieve short hair without having to cut your hair. I used to have really short hair for many, right. many years. I actually had like that um, A-line bob. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love short hair, but I really have been enjoying my long hair these past couple of years. So I decided I wanted to do a tutorial on how you can achieve short hair without having to go through the extreme of cutting With it. this tutorial, um, I think this works best if you guys have layers. And in my hair, I have lots of layers. And I have some pretty short ones. So if ones. you guys are interested in seeing this fake a short hair tutorial, please keep on watching. So you'll just be needing a whole bunch of bobby pins. And I got these from Target. And the thing I like about this is that it has this little thingy right here. You don't have to put the bobby pin in between your teeth to open it. You will definitely need a hairbrush. You'll need a flat iron. And some sort of clip to section off your hair. And a teasing brush. And last but not the least, you will also need some hairspray to set the First look. and foremost, we want to start off by just brushing our hair and making sure that we don't have any tangles. Next, what you want to do is you want to section off the shortest layers of your hair, but you want to leave the front part of your layers. This will actually be our guide for our A-line bob. We're going to section off about this much. If you see any long strands of hair, just take it out. We're just going to clip it up and we're gonna come back to it later. You wanna section your hair into two parts. And brush out your hair is take a section of hair, this big of a portion, and you're just simply going to twist the hair any direction away from you or towards you. Go ahead and twist it. Now here's the trick. You want, you want to, to bring the hair towards your face. Bring it up. And then fold it down. Go ahead and just adjust the hair um, to about as long as you want. I'm going to be following the uh, hair in the front, so I'm going to make this a little bit shorter. So right about there. And you want to place the hair pins in an X form. So put it through the hair. And then you want to put it in the opposite direction in your hair. You want to make sure that this hair that we're pinning is pretty much flush to your scalp. Next, take the remaining section of hair, twist it, bring it towards you. This should be right above your ear. And then bring it down. A little bit longer. And then again, secure it with bobby pins. Now, if you need to adjust the hair like I do, I need to adjust this, make this a little bit shorter. Go ahead. I'm gonna add a little bit more bobby pins. And I know right now it's looking like a hot mess, but don't worry. We're finished with this side of our hair, and now we're gonna work on the other side. We're just basically gonna repeat the same steps. Just make sure that both sides are pretty much even. Yeah. Take the last section of hair and just twist it and pin it up a little bit above your ear and then just adjust the hair. How the back of your hair should look and if you guys can see it's kind of making like an angle on the side but don't worry if it's not looking all perfect we're gonna go ahead and fix that. So now you want to take the top section of your hair and just release the clip and just bring it down over your head bring it down over your hair and just kind of blend it in. Because the back right now is so bare and needs to be covered I'm going to go ahead and back home we're going to just curl the undersides of our hair to make it a little bit more even. I'm going to be using this Dove heat protectant to spray the ends of my hair. Okay. 
I'm gonna get the little strands in the back. So you really wanna back comb your hair, starting from the roots and going up, just so that your hair really fluffs out and it covers all of the bobby pins. Okay, so to make sure that this look does not move, you're going to want to spray your hair with a whole bunch of hairspray just to make sure that the bobby pins stay hidden and your hair doesn't start moving around. So let me zoom you guys in for the final look. And as you can see, it has that A-line style to it, short in the back and then gradually getting longer towards the front. This was a really fun tutorial to do. It's just a fun way to experiment with your hair and try out a different hairstyle without having to make a commitment to So anyway, it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much again for watching another Twi Chick Thursday. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see all of you next Thursday.